So, recently the PinePhone Pro was announced, and with its hexa-core processor, 4GB of RAM, and a quad-core Mali GPU, it's fair to say that this device will definitely be quite a bit more performant than the standard PinePhone. But some people might be wondering exactly how much more powerful this device will be. So, that's what we're going to be talking about right now on the Linux Lounge. So before we start today's video, I do just have to say, unfortunately I don't have a PinePhone Pro in front of me. So a lot of what I'm going to be saying in today's video is pure speculation on my part. But with that said, we can still get a pretty good idea for how good the performance will be on the PinePhone Pro. The reason for that is that the PinePhone Pro actually has very similar hardware to the PineBook Pro. The only difference between the two is that the PinePhone Pro CPU is about 20% slower due to thermal constraints. But the PinePhone Pro's screen resolution is lower than the PineBook Pro's and the PinePhone Pro might very well be better optimized. So that'll probably make the performance of these two devices fairly comparable in real world usage. So it's fair to say that if the PineBook Pro can do something, then the PinePhone Pro can probably do it too. So with that said, what can the PineBook Pro do? Well, for a start, the PineBook Pro can do most basic tasks really well. Most desktop environments perform great on it, and as do most basic desktop apps. I'm actually writing this very script on a PineBook Pro running LibreOffice. Additionally, I'm able to browse the internet, stream video, message friends, and more, all on my PineBook Pro. So it's pretty safe to assume that you'll be able to do most basic phone tasks on the Pine Phone Pro with ease, whereas sometimes the original Pine Phone would struggle to do basic tasks. But I imagine you're not here to hear about what basic tasks you'll be able to do on the Pine Phone Pro. What more demanding tasks might the Pine Phone Pro be capable of? Well, how about video editing for a start? I have actually edited videos on the PineBook Pro, and it's very capable of doing it all the way up to 1080p video in Caden Live. Sure, it takes a while to render, but actually editing video is a pretty solid experience. So much so that I'm probably going to edit this very video on my PineBook Pro. So it's a pretty safe assumption then that you'll be able to edit video on the PinePhone Pro if you dock it to a monitor, keyboard, and mouse. So I think that the PinePhone Pro might actually make a very interesting device for content creators who want a truly convergent experience. A potential use case I can see for this phone is recording video on the PinePhone Pro and then editing it in Caden Live once you've docked your phone at your desk. Now that sounds seriously useful. I also find it very possible to do image editing and digital art on the PineBook Pro. Creator, for instance, performs very well, so I assume that it'll be able to run really well on the PineFoam Pro too. In fact, if you're willing to make a lot of compromises, you can actually even run Creator on the PineFoam screen itself for some quick edits. And that's something that I've done a few times with my original PinePhone. But I think that the most realistic setup is probably docking the PinePhone Pro and then using Krita with a monitor, keyboard, mouse, and maybe even a drawing tablet. Another thing that you'll probably be able to do on the PinePhone Pro that I think is going to be of a lot of interest to people is gaming. The PinePhone Pro is, as I've said, comparable to the PinePhone Pro, so what kind of performance do I get on the PinePhone Pro when I'm playing games? Well, with emulators I'm able to run all the way up to the Dreamcast, so it's a pretty safe assumption that you'll be able to do this on the PinePhone Pro too. In fact, Pine64 even say that you'll be able to run Dreamcast games on the PinePhone Pro, but I'm not sure how performance is going to be. Another thing that I'm able to do on my PinePhone Pro is play open source games, as long as they have a native ARM version. So that means that the PinePhone Pro will probably even be able to play some pretty demanding open source games like Super Tuxcart and Exonautic. Finally, you might even be able to play some proprietary Linux games on the PinePhone Pro, although this will be limited as the PinePhone Pro is an ARM device. But on my PineBook Pro, I've been able to happily play through Celeste using emulation, so presumably you'll be able to do that on the PinePhone Pro as well. Honestly, the idea of being able to play Celeste on a phone is really exciting to me. Combine all those games with a portable controller and I bet that the PinePhone Pro will make for a really powerful portable gaming device. So in conclusion, that's my educated guess on how powerful the PinePhone Pro will be. Truly, I think that this device will be absolutely revolutionary and will completely change the Linux phone market. But what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.